I am back from Endor. I've been back for over a week now and I am still beat. Uh, I've been so exhausted, but uh, apparently it seems I have a fever as well on top of it, so that may be part of what's going on. But I had actually filmed an entire End War recap video, but that footage was all essentially unusable, which is a bummer. I'm really looking forward to having my main camera back, because trying to film with a camera that doesn't have autofocus and my phone when I need autofocus, it's not really working too great. So my apologies for not having that up yet. Uh, but for today, we are going to uh, cut back some footage from before I left for End War, where I opened up a few packages and I had initially intended to talk about some things more in depth, but I think we will talk about the two things that I'm opening today in an episode probably next week and we'll go a little more in depth into that. So thank you for bearing with me through this. I hope you enjoyed the End War final stand. I had a lot of fun putting that together and oh, I, 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 enjoy, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. But regardless, let's go ahead and snap on over to that footage. This sounds, all right. Uh, this should be, yes, the worker, uh, NF Strike sent me the worker swordfish kit, or swordfish shell. Uh, now it's important to know that this is uh, the worker swordfish, which is the strife-like shell, as opposed to the Argus Modworks uh, swordfish strife cosmetic kit, and, well, it actually changes the way you fire, strife kit. Uh, it's interesting they both have the same name. Whether or not worker was aware of the kit is something we don't know, but it is something uh, worth mentioning, uh, especially Psyche brought this one up because I spaced on it, didn't even think about it. He was on top of it and I've knocked everything over. Uh, but this is, uh, it's not, it's definitely a box. Like that's my first in, my first thoughts on it is it, it's a box. It's just very straight. And that's, not necessarily the worst thing, I guess. Um, now, I've seen some people talk about how wide this side is and how disproportionate it is. They've done that so apparently you can fit 180s in here without shell cutting, which is nice if you're into 180s. I think that's that's a cool thing. Um, the I just can't get over how much of a box this is. I really cannot. Uh, wow. Now, they did this, the reason they picked uh, something that is so similar to the Strife, just with all the holes filled and, and very rectangly, is so it can fit all of their cosmetic kits. All of the worker cosmetic kits should work fine with this, and that's the big reason why they did it, uh, so they don't need to rely on the uh, Strife shell from Hasbro to continue selling their kits. And it feels nice enough, there's a little bit of uh, a lip on this grip right here, right at the base that kind of gets into the palm of my hand. It's not awful, but it's noticeable. Um, otherwise the, the grip is definitely for adult hands, which is, which is nice. Uh, trigger pull is what you'd expect. It's, it's actually a little bit crunchier than a strife trigger pull. So take that into consideration. Now I may be able to lube this up and make that smoother. This is all just right out of the box. But again, we'll look further into this. I just wanted to open it and, and show you all. So thank you to NF Strike. I will certainly be doing a build with this. I'm looking forward to that because ooh, internal's pretty. Uh, so we may, you know, I gotta finish the, the Fabu Strife, but maybe I'll order another another kit from Biggs for this just with the muzzle piece and the internal pieces and all that because that in pink with like white and blue wiring and, and a, a nice like blue cage maybe uh, could look really nice so let's let's put this aside again because I I talk a lot when I do things like this and let's uh we've got more pieces I have no idea what that's for but we'll, we'll again find out later so this is 
This is kind of a big box. So uh, this arrived at the P.O. box and I'm pretty sure I know who it's from. I got a message, but let's, uh, I can't even, can't even get on top of this thing without being out of the camera frame. So let's, uh, I'm very curious. I'm just gonna open this and, and not even, not even talk too much. We'll, we'll, once we find out what it is, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about it because I am excited and curious and uh, don't know for certain what to expect. So I do have an idea. All right, let's. Can I, can I manage to pull this? Oh my, okay. Packing material. So we see Sentinel. It's, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. This is from Aldos. This looks like a Sentinel with a custom breech custom everything oh my god and it's pink it's fabulous okay i gotta open this because like i'm gonna make sure there's nothing else in here first wait is this hold on there's something attached a nice drawing of the jangular logo i dig it let's let's crack this open and find out what we got inside i'm I, i'm excited we're gonna tell you okay there's, there's a lot to talk about here but first, this is important to read what we have here. Jang. Hey, but I'm not sure words can really begin to describe the kind of inspiration you've been over the last few years. That is, that is immensely kind of you to say. Uh, not just to me either, but to the entire Nerf community. Very few of us get the credit we deserve, but you more than most. Your dedication to the channel shows every video you upload as well as your pursuit for fairness community building and entertainment uh i hope to make it out to cali one day but until i do here's something with a little bit of aldos flair to add to the collection aldos uh there is all right here is my completed sentinel uh kit and my almost complete sentinel mark ii kit almost complete sentinel mark three kit all you're going to do is pop open the blaster and install the barrel. FPS should be good for Endor if you choose to use it with the Mark II kit. The Mark III kit works, but the FPS is literally insane and it puts a ton of strain on the plunger. Uh, once I finish my plunger design, I'll send another... Oh Aldos, this is insane. Um, first off, just to the, the, the things that were said in the note, um, honestly, I don't really have proper words. Just thank you. I don't honestly believe that I do anything all that special. I just want to share and show the cool things other people do and the, the good stuff in this hobby and community. And, and, uh, I feel like everybody else should be getting praise and, and credit and, and, um, being the inspiring ones. I, I don't feel I, uh, I I do that. I think the people that are building and crafting and creating things are the ones that are inspiring and make me want to do more. And this is just so cool. I can't, I, I can't say thank you enough. So I'm going to pop this open right now and uh, gush a little bit and then we'll talk.
Thank you again to Aldas for this amazing gift. Uh, if you were at End War, you saw this on the table. Uh, it performs phenomenally from what I've tested so far. I've only put in, I only have the spring that he sent with it, which was made for End War. So it hits that perfect 130. Looking forward to pushing it a bit further, but we'll talk about that more again, probably next week, along with the swordfish. So let me know what you thought of the, the stuff so far, my initial thoughts on things and uh, what you're looking forward to from all the projects we've got coming up for the channel. But that said, thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to all the videos I've got planned for this channel, the things I wanna share with you, things I wanna do. I'm actually very excited, so I'm looking forward. I hope you will too. But that said, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I will see you all next time.